All right, so I'm going to show you guys some of the available interfaces for Pro Tools LE. There's a lot, uh, there's a lot of them out there, and there's some really cool, really affordable interfaces. Now, the first thing you got to understand uh, about these that separates Pro Tools and DigiDesign from other platforms is that when you buy one of these interfaces, you get the software. Now, that's not true of any other. Uh, of any other company, which is something a lot of people don't realize about Pro Tools, is that if you, you buy an MBOX, you buy a Digi002, you get Pro Tools LE with it, which is a really cool feature, and it makes the hardware and the software really talk to each other flawlessly and uh, makes things a lot easier in the studio. So uh, if you want to take a look up here, um, I've got a couple of the interfaces uh, up here, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna take a look at them. The first one is the MBOX. The MBOX 2 actually is the, the, the latest revision of this. Um, it's a really basic interface. It's got, um, it, it works off USB and uh, it's got you know, just a, a couple simple little things going on. It's got two uh, microphone inputs. It's got two outputs, uh, also DI inputs on those, uh, on, on those inputs 1 and 2. It's got SPDIF or SPDIF uh, digital in and out. And it's got uh, it's got the MIDI in and out, and it, like as I said, it works off USB. It's got a couple features on the front, a headphone uh, in and out, but it's a real basic uh, unit. And it's uh, a lot of people use the MBOX. There's there's a lot of MBOXs out there, and certainly uh, it's a very cost effective. I think it's about four or five hundred dollars uh, brand new for uh, for an MBOX two. It's a great option. Um, and, uh, and, and you can easily get going uh, with, with one, one of these units. Um, now moving on from there, we have uh, this, this new unit called the MBOX2 Mini, which is an even smaller uh, version of the MBOX. Essentially, it's the same minus a few features. Um, you only have one mic input, and uh, you, know, you, only, you don't have MIDI on it. Uh, but it's just for people who want to have a very compact system, you know, just throw it in your laptop case and go somewhere and record, you know, record demos, do whatever. Uh, that's the MBOX2 Mini. The next one, uh, the MBOX2 Pro. Um, this is a really cool uh, addition to the MBOX line and it brings it up a level in my opinion because of one uh, key feature which is that it works off Firewire instead of USB. Now with Firewire it's a much faster protocol so you got a lot uh, you got a lot more bandwidth there for, for information and for audio to be, uh, to be flowing through there. Again, you got two microphone inputs, an additional aux in. Um, you got a separate monitor out and then four line outs as well as SPDIF in and out, uh, foot switch in and out, or, or a foot switch here. And then you got word clock and also MIDI. And uh, as I said, works off Firewire. This is a great unit. Some of my friends have this and it's worked flawlessly for them. Again, comes with Pro Tools LE. Uh, so that's the MBOX2 Pro. That's a really new unit. I think this one is um, 600 uh, new. So this is, again, a cost-effective option. For 600 bucks. you got an interface with software. You're ready to go. Uh, the next one, uh, this is actually um, the Digi002. Uh, they now have the 003, which we'll look at uh, in a minute. Um, but this is a common piece that's out there. As you can see, it's, um, it's not only an interface, but it's also a control surface. It has faders, um, and uh, uh, essentially these faders are just, uh, it's, it's basically like uh, stuff that you would just do with your mouse, but it's, uh, it's just a lot easier to kind of get your hands on the faders there. Um, we'll see in the next slide, which is the Digi002 rack, uh, the Digi002 and the rack here um, have the same exact inputs and outputs. The, um, the Digi002 can also function as a standalone mixer, which is kind of a cool feature. Um, uh, but anyway, as you can see here on the back, there's a lot more options. And as you may have seen in my rack here, this is the unit that I own and, uh, and use. Here it is, the Digi002 rack. I've had this for about three or four years, 
three years probably, and uh, actually probably four years, and this thing has worked flawlessly for me. It's a, it's a rock solid unit. I've taken it all over. I've taken it on tour. I've used it live, and uh, it's a great unit. I'd, re I'd recommend it definitely. Um, as you can see, it's got a couple more things going on. It's got four uh, preamps inputs. Uh, it's got, uh, it's got MIDI in and two MIDI outputs, which is cool if you're doing a lot of MIDI stuff. It's got um, four additional line inputs, so it's got eight total line inputs, uh, separate monitor out, main out, and then, and then uh, six more outputs there. It's also got, which is, this, this is really cool, optical in and out, um, which functions on the, on the ADAT protocol, which is uh, eight channel uh, digital input. So if you have a unit that can convert to eight at optical, uh, you can have eight more channels of uh, digital in. So if you ha had this system maxed out, you could be recording 18 tracks at a time. So really that's pretty cool. And I've used it, uh, I've used it to record, you know, um, full drum kits and, uh, and everything. And as I said, it's a, it's a workhorse. It, 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 um, it, it's been really, it, for the most part, it's been, uh, it's, it's been really great for me. Again, comes with Pro Tools LE software. And uh, finally, the Digi 003, which is the new incarnation of the of the uh, 002, uh, essentially the same. Um, uh, it's got a little different form factor. It's got these little mushroom knobs that Digi likes to use nowadays. Um, uh, but as we'll see in the next uh, in the next slide, this Digi 003 rack uh, has essentially the same uh, the same stuff as the 002. They've added word clock in and out and they've added another headphone output on the front. They kept the price the same so they, they haven't jacked up the price or anything. They claim the, uh, the preamps are a little bit better on this unit. But um, that gives you a basic idea of some of the interfaces that are out there for, uh, for Pro Tools LE. And in addition to these interfaces, um, uh, Digidesign recently bought a company called M Audio, and now there are a vast array of M Audio products that work with a new version of Pro Tools called Pro Tools M Powered. Now, the difference uh, with M Powered is you have to buy the software separately. Uh, so there's a lot of different options, and if you go on M Audio's website, uh, you can see there's a lot of interfaces that say compatible with Pro Tools M Powered. Uh, but just bear in mind, with those interfaces, you do have to pay about $300 just for the software, whereas with uh, the interfaces direct from Digidesign, you get the software when you buy the, uh, the hardware. So that's a, that's a brief look at the interfaces, and uh, up next, I'm going to show you how to create a new session and get you recording.